and we're interested in getting into civil pasture on their own land today, there's a, a number of steps that somebody should follow. The first is to evaluate the site to see if it would be appropriate for civil pasturing. Civil pasturing can be done almost anywhere, but if it really makes sense, depends on the person's ownership goals and on the quality of the land. Uh, it's going to be a, a considerable investment of time and money to develop civil pastures. So before starting that process, the landowner would want to make certain that they are going to get enough benefit out to justify the costs. People get really, and I did this too, we get really excited about a particular type of animal. And so we're like, I'm gonna raise cows. And then suddenly you're shopping for cows and suddenly you have cows in your land. And I think it's really important to do that critical evaluation of what animals are really appropriate to the to the place um, and to what you like to do. And so it's always good to start small with a smaller herd or a smaller flock. It's always good to really research and visit uh, as many different operations and see what's what it looks like. Um, because I think we have these ideas in our head and they sound really great and they can be. Um, but you know, we made a really conscious decision about sheep on our property, for instance, and it was kind of weighing between cows and sheep, but ultimately because we have small acreage, uh, less paddocks to develop, we realized the sheep would do much better here. It's steeper slopes in some of our land, it's wetter, and so having a lighter animal was important. And from raising cows, we knew if they got sick, you have to bring in a trailer versus the sheep you can put in the back of a truck. And so push comes to shove, we really realized there's all these factors you can really, that can really save you a lot of time and headache. And um, it's hard to know, you kind of have to jump in, but, but really making those choices, not getting too excited <laughs> initially is really, I think, important.